few cases, what's the wisdom behind putting execution, capital punishment, as a punishment for killing others, for uh, spreading corruption in the, in, the, in the earth, for an adulterer, caught red-handed, for someone who does the act of homosexuality. This is not my call. This is the law of Allah. And Allah Azza wa Jal, the creator of the heavens and the earth, is not obliged to come and justify everything to us. And this is why we pray Fajr two rakahs, Maghrib three rakahs, and the rest of the prayers are four. And nobody dared to say, why two, not three? Why three, not four? This is how Allah legislated it. So as a Muslim, if you do not surrender your will to Allah and say, we hear and obey, if you do not submit your will to Allah Azza wa Jalla and accept unconditionally whatever Allah tells you, you're not a Muslim. As easy as that. So whether you understand or not, this is not an issue. Do you believe in the Quran to be the final revelation of scripture? Yes or no? Do you believe that there is only one God worthy of being worshipped in this universe and he's the creator and his name is Allah? Yes or no? Do you believe that the Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah? Yes or no? If you manage to say yes, 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 then you have no problem. If you have doubts or you say no to one of these questions, you're a kafir.